Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. In the last episode, you saw me defeat a giant rotting dragon who vomited some weird sort of purple slime. I can't remember if it actually ever poisoned me or just did damage to me. But I didn't stand in it very much, so that was a good thing. And although it was a bit of a long fight, we managed to defeat him without too much trouble, so I'm pretty happy with that. We also discovered this fantastic shield that I am currently using. Other than that, we didn't really progress too much further in that episode. It was mostly to places I'd already seen and uh, just wanted to actually get to the end of like the tower. I wanted to get to the top of the tower. Oops, missed my parry. Ah, missed two of them. Uh-oh, about to die. And I've got my blood moss thing up. See if I can finish it off. And you also please die. There we go. But yes, I managed to get to the top of that tower with the harpies on it. And defeated the dragon. But other than that, we haven't really progressed much further than I had been in the episode prior. However, since that episode, I wandered back to the bonfire and generally did a few uh, tests. I've been trying to resolve some of the FPS issues I've been having. And I think I'm a little bit closer to getting it all sorted. Overall, I think my F FPS is a lot more stable at the moment. But I've also found that there does seem to be something which will continuously pull it down. I think I know what it is, and I'm happy to say that I believe it's something I can get rid of. So it shouldn't continue to haunt us for much longer anyway. But yes, as you can see, I've just popped up somewhere that I haven't been before. And that's because while I was trying to sort out all the FPS, I noticed that little area down there. I can't even imagine how many times I've walked past this little entryway in the last videos and not noticed it. But now I have, let's go and find out what's at the top. I have saved this for when I was recording, so uh, let's see what there is to see. It doesn't look like too much, actually. It's a little bit disappointing. Oh, no, wait. What is this? What do you have? Oh, Soul of a Proud Knight. Very well. Nothing particularly awesome. Oh, shit. Oh, double shit. Let's kill them quickly. No. <laughs> okay. Well... So yeah, back to Dark Souls, back to dying all the time in stupid ways. What would Dark Souls be without humiliating defeat? So let's quickly go back and get my stuff back from up there. I'm in no mood to play, good sir. Go parries for you and you. I'll just kill you, because you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> Let's quickly go see if I can get my stuff back. No, don't want. Okay, well, I guess I don't get a choice. Anyone else coming down? Good. Well, actually, since I'm here... Let's go ahead and pop this summer sign down. Just in case anyone wants a bit of company. I wouldn't mind some uh, friendly teamwork. Some jolly cooperation. Just take that in the back, please. Okay. Now then, are those two harpies going to be back up here? Or have they gone away? Oh, balls. Big old drop out there, actually. Hmm. Wonder if there's anything interesting down there. I'll just take my stuff back. Oh yeah, here they come. Bugger off! Bugger off! No! 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 no. Oh, balls! <sighs> There doesn't seem to be anything I can do. If they manage to get on top of me like that, that is it. Game over. 
I had humanity, that is all. How did I get that? Okay. Let's die. Seems I've already used up all my uh, parry luck. Yep. All of it is gone. <laughs> oh my god, I've just lost all the souls! And that humanity as well. So, five minutes in, lots of death has been a result of stupid decisions by me. Uh, I think this one's going to be a bit of a long episode, guys. I can feel it. Oh, yeah. It's definitely going to be a bit of a long one. I'm sorry. Oh. I've really got to work on my parrying. I've been mentioning to uh, Plump Helmet Punk that I want to do a video at some point where I just run around trying out my parrying. Not against bosses or anywhere that I haven't been before, but against known quantities, I guess. So I can just sort of gradually grind it up. But yeah, I was thinking of uh, doing some sort of episode where I, I put in some sort of like house rules that no blocking or um, or dodging, perhaps. Although there are some enemies you can't parry, so maybe I'd allow that. Oh my god! Just die! <sighs> I guess there's not much point in going up there now, because. The only reason to go there has now been taken from me. So how about... Well, I could always jump down there. Whilst I'm already stupidly wounded. Let's, let's see if this is a stupid place to go. Yes. Yes, it is. Well, I didn't really have anything to lose, so... It was worth the try. There could have been a shiny down there, you never know. Come on, then, you. Oh, don't start running away now. Did I manage to parry him then without trying? If I did, I completely wasted the parry because then I just stood there and took a flurry of sword thrusts to the face. Come on, where's your friend? It's always two of you. There we go. I am going to go back up there to try and deal with those harpies. It's a matter of pride now. On you. Okay. Right, let's get up here. No time to waste. Also, no HP to waste, so please stop wasting it. Only just gotten up here, and I'm already down by two Estus Flasks. Not boding well. Though, that wasn't too bad. Right. Where are you harpies coming from? Are you the ones up there? No? Yes? Yes. One down. I'm okay with this. Are you going to be able to backstab you? No. Fine, whatever. Souvenir of reprisal. Are you going to drop one? Yeah. Alright, so they're gone from over there. What about here? Yes. I thought this might be significant because I noticed it was the only place that didn't have snow on it. If that is what I think it is, I'm going to be about to be very, very happy. Ooh. A dried finger. That doesn't sound as epic 
as all the effort I put in to get this thing. Let's see what you do then. Um, toggle display. A dried finger with multiple knuckles. Shriveled but still slightly warm. With this many no knuckles, surely it cannot be anything human. Uh, okay. I'm not really sure what that's for, but... Uh, uh, at least that's one thing off the list to do. Let's go grab these potential humanities. And again, there we go. Anything more? No? Nothing more? Okay. Actually, what, what rings have I got? Okay. That's not too bad. Oh, balls. Right. I'm not going to be able to use my fire weapon here. Just needed to get rid of them as quickly as possible. So, having said that, I'm going to swap things around a little bit. Since I had, uh, whilst testing things out, swapped to using my uh, Pyromancer's Glove just to clear things out of the way a little bit faster. But now I'm playing again. I need to preserve those castings. I really do wish the game gave more ca um, uses of pyromancies. I really don't think the amount that we get is nearly enough. Let's quickly go and deal with you. And then you two. Oh, boss. Had the wrong bloody thing selected. Okay. I've already used up pretty much all of my things. I'll have to save that for a special occasion. And I hadn't really thought about this, but uh, the fact that m when I switch back to my shield, I lose, or rather I build up poison and the other status ailments. It's a little bit annoying. Honestly, it would be much better if it preserves the sort of percentage of my uh, bleeding bars and, and poison bars and stuff. So that if I switched to something that gave me more of a defense, it would restore what the ratio was already at. If that makes any sense. Just kill you. Now then, I'm going to have a bunch of harpies to deal with, aren't I? Yes. On the plus side, though, I'm not going to have an undead dragon to deal with. Come on, you. Again? Yep. What about a third time? Oh, shit. Do not want. I will kill you eventually if you just keep doing that. That was remarkably easy. You practically killed yourself there. Eh? Right, well, other than that spot that uh, I showed you earlier, the one that I kept missing that led to the shiny on the roof, I've pretty much been everywhere but this white light now. I could just jump jump down, obviously, to get to the well, but again, as I've said before, I don't really think it's quite that sensible to go down there because I don't have a reliable way to get back up. So, I think it's about time that we uh, gave this a try. Fingers crossed, everyone. Hopefully, I'm not walking straight through to my death. Ah, excellent. I'm not. And there, right there, that is the culprit, I believe, for the vast majority of my FPS drops. You swine! Hmm. Now that I'm close... Oh, balls. I knew that was going to happen. Ah! Bollocks. It's not what I meant to do. Oh, crap. 
What, you can actually run? Give me a break. That's utterly unfair. I hope you guys stay dead when you die. Come on, you little shitbags. Crap. No! Oh! Balls! Oh, I should have gone for that door. Why didn't I think of that? Bonfire, we meet again. Well, on the plus side, as I said, I am getting some uh, parrying experience here. If nothing else, then I can at least consider that a mini victory. <sighs> Though, let's just try and speed run it to that point. Let's let's try and get there so I can. Quickly unlock that door and make things easier on myself in the future. Ooh, two four. And synchronized death again. Quite impressive. Oh balls. I really hate these things. Damn it. Oh, that's gotten rid of you at least. You come around? So I would rather not have to get up there and fight you myself if I can avoid it. Oh, though that worked remarkably well. Except you still spat all that toxin around. Actually, that reminds me, someone did mention that uh, a backstab or a critical, like a parry, doesn't count as fire damage even if you, uh, you use a fire weapon to do it. So, with that in mind, I'll probably try to avoid uh, killing them with criticals in the future. Oh, balls. I think I may have done something silly. Yeah, I have. I've... Yeah. Well, actually, it looks like I may have just run away okay. I thought that uh, archer over there was going to be a much greater thorn in my side than he actually was. My only concern right now is just getting down to that door, through it, and unlocking the door on the other side. Have any of you actually died? No, it doesn't look like. Damn it all. Right, come on, quickly, let's just get this done. Open. Ah, there we go. Shortcut achieved. Oh, there's my stuff as well. Let's go pick that up. Now. Can I backstab you? No? Oh, fair enough. Wasn't really expecting to be able to. It's a bit too much to hope for, honestly. Ow. Balls, okay. Fine. Wasn't working out for me, I just need to kill them. Though they honestly don't seem that bright. They don't seem to be able to target me very well. I say as I get a spear thrust into my face. I think I just need to stop being so greedy. And uh, not go for the triple stab, just be satisfied with two, then move on. Also, 
not rolling backwards into them probably equally a useful thing not to do yeah but at least that door is now open so uh, yeah I can just go and waste my time fighting them to my heart's content however I am going to do the rest of this in human form if I can possibly maintain it There we go. Because, again, a little birdie has told me that there is an NPC somewhere down here. An NPC invader. Well, if you're going to be coy about fighting me, I'll just come to you. Okay, I kind of cocked that up by moving out of his way. Parrying is only ever going to work from right in front of the opponent. Right. I am back. Is there much around here? Oh, there's stairs actually. Where do these go? Well, the stairs go down over there. Where to? I don't know. Hmm. No. We're going to explore what that shiny thing was over here first. So, I was about to say, it looks suspiciously like I was about to be attacked by uh, harpies, but no, just regular hollows. I can look at that. Though, uh, they might make it difficult for me. Balls. Stop embarrassing me! Dying to the weakest enemy is not an option. So, the Proud Knight. So much for that backstab attempt. Ah, I see. I could just chop that down. So, if I didn't have a bow, I could still have uh, gotten that item. Though, not even in remotely a cool, as cool a way. Because, you know, shooting a rope clear is pretty awesome, if you ask me. Graveyard. I've got to say, the torch-wielding hollows are my least favourite of them. Okay. Some shinies down here. Not by there. Always pays to check. Behind you. I have learned this lesson now. I will keep it in mind everywhere I go. What are these weird boxes? Other than oh, boss, annoyingly good at concealing my enemies. Oh bugger! I'm being flanked. I thought I dodged that time. Oh shit! Oh no! Wait. That will be the NPC because there is a space in the name. Oh, wow. Okay. Not sure I want to mess with this guy. He's got a giant spoon on his head. Can I get behind you? No? Not gonna let me? I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to keep messing around by you. Just to annoy you. Ah, how? Oh my lord. Well, doesn't look like he really wants me to play that game. Balls. Balls. <sighs> See, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. Oh, no. I can stack these up if I can keep chaining them. Ah, okay. I just needed to be a bit more aggressive and less uh, worried about being attacked. Retrieve remaining power of Dark Spirit. Okay, humanity acquired. 
notched whip. Interesting, I shall check that out in just a moment. And that looks like a very long drop. I'll be avoiding that. How about you? Soul of a proud knight. Soul of a proud knight. Bunch of boxes. Cages, I guess. Hmm. This does look a little bit ominous. Just waiting for one of these things to burst open and something to attack me. What about you? And another sort of a knight. I didn't actually read that one. Well, let's check out this weapon then. What are you? A notched whip, I think it was. Where are you? Okay. Notched whip. Uh... Predictably, not as good of a weapon, though it's got lower weights. Oh, wow, it does a bleeding effect as well. And to be on dexterity, that's actually not too bad. It's an interesting one. Oh, actually, I should check out what it says about it, because it may have some sort of additional information. So, what's it say? Only slightly effective against armor and tough scales, but quite formidable against enemies with exposed skill skin also causes heavy bleeding so it just looks like a, a bleeding afflicting version of the regular whip that I picked up in the depths so I don't think I'm gonna be bothering with it too much if I'm honest it's probably not something that I need to worry about but I really do want to avoid those guys over there if I can help it just for the moment let me just explore a bit it's a door over here so it was promising. Oh. How did I guess that was going to be the case? Right then, you guys. See how you deal with my pyromancies. Pretty well, actually. Especially if I don't actually get close enough to use them properly. What about you? Oh, yeah. Instant kill. Not bad. I think I will waste my pyromancies in order to get a couple of kills. Oh, balls. A little bit too cocky there, I guess. There's another one down. Let's just heal up, because these guys seem to do quite a lot of damage if they actually hit. Come on, throw your speed at me. You know you want to. And two left. Okay, that's all of them done. Right. It's down to just my trusty katana and I. Though, this has significantly... Ah, oh, balls. Weakened them, it seems. Oh, oh, crap. That could have been painful. God, these guys are annoying, though. If I have to, I will just hit them one at a time. Balls. No. Nope. Shit, 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 shit. Drink. Crap. Move. I've done. I've come too close to killing you all to die now. And drink again. Almost there. I wonder if actually finishing them off does anything. I'm hoping that when they're all dead that they won't come back. But that could be completely... Pipe dream. Yeah, well, they're reasonable EXP if nothing else. But I will be disappointed if I finish doing this and then the next time I come through here, they're all back again. <sighs> okay. So, who is this beauty then? Mm, doesn't look like anyone special, actually. It's a little bit of a disappointment. Okay, 
So, we came from that way. There's a door over there we can't go through. There's a ladder down up there that I haven't explored. And then, of course, there's this lovely little place. Guess where we're going next? That's right. Back down the well to uh, finish off our fight with those pinwheel dudes. We have been trying to get back to this place for a few episodes, and now that we're finally here, I see no reason to put this fight off. So, join me in the next episode, where I will probably die down the well again. Until then, do take care.